y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about autumn event ideas. This is our fourth and final part of our event series all about the different seasons. So we've done winter, spring, and summer, and we are finally on fall or autumn. And just like all of the other videos, this is geared towards people who are running role plays, trying to set up events during these seasons. But there are also some really good ideas for one-on-one -on -one role players as far as thread ideas go that you might want to do during fall or autumn. If you'd like more information on how I like to run events, I will link my event setup video up in the cards. So you can click that and watch that and then come back here for the actual event ideas. Autumn is the time of year for harvest festivals, and lots of different cultures have harvest festivals. In the US and Canada, for example, we have Thanksgiving. In the pagan calendar, we have Mabon, but there's lots of others. So for example, in China, they have Zhongkuija. Um, ignore the pronunciation on that, and I know the tones are all wrong, so sorry for anyone that speaks Chinese. Um, in Taiwan, they call this the Moon Festival. In Iran, they have um, Megron, I think that's how you say that one. And in the Jewish calendar, they have Sukkot. And there's so many others that I didn't put on my little list of different harvest festival names here. So pretty much every culture has one is the point. And all of these harvest festivals take place during the fall, because traditionally, fall is the time where we do the final harvest. And during that harvest, what we're doing is it's kind of like the last harvest before the winter season sets in and we have the frost and all of the trees and plants either die or go dormant and wait for the spring to come. So we do our final harvest. And that means all of these holidays are all about eating. So this is a wonderful time in your role play to have a feast. Another hallmark of fall is back to school. In the Western world, this is the time of year that people do things like back to school shopping, picking out classes, and seeing friends that they didn't see all summer. So these are all hallmarks of fall in the Western world. If your role play has children in it, consider an actual back to school event where your characters are doing all of these things. The beginning of school is also often marked with a back to school dance or the beginning of first semester sports season, such as American football. Um, but there's different sports as well. So you can look into some of those um, other kinds of sports that people do during the fall. But these are great event ideas as well. There's also a ton of other great school related activities that you could do during the fall. So for example, there's science fairs, spelling and math competitions, model UN, music competitions or festivals such as for band or for chorus. There's also student government, student newspapers, drama clubs, debate club, or literally any other club that you can think of. If it's an interest that students might have, it can be a club and you can center events around club activities. And then my favorite thing about the fall is the holiday of Halloween. There is so much good role play stuff that you can do during Halloween, from costume contests and trick or treating to things like scary movies, hay rides, haunted houses, literally anything that is either candy related or spooky related, you can do during Halloween. And if your role play has supernatural or magical elements, this is a great time to have zombies or ghouls or ghosts come to your role play. And if your role play is already horror related, consider ramping up the horror during the Halloween season. Like for example, if it's a murder mystery, maybe ramp up the carnage. If it's more like a spooky sort of horror, then ramp up those spooky events. Your people are probably really excited about Halloween if they're the sorts of people that are in a horror role play. So ramp things up during this time of year. Next, let's talk about the weather. Fall weather is characterized by the heat of summer starting to cool down into those chilly winter temperatures. This is also the time that the leaves are changing on the trees. And depending on where your role play takes place, they might see a lot of those leaf changing events. There are places in the world that have whole tourism industries around people coming to watch those leaves changing. So if that's where your role play takes place, consider having events around that. In the Atlantic and the Caribbean, fall means hurricane season. Hurricanes are storms that feature a lot of wind and rain. So some hurricanes can be no different than a typical rainstorm, but some hurricanes can be really devastating. For example, the wind can rip roofs off houses or rip trees up by their roots. And the water, if it's a particularly wet storm, the flooding can last long after the storm is actually gone. 
The other thing to remember about hurricanes is that because the storm features wind, they can spin off tornadoes. So tornadoes can happen in hurricane prone areas, just like they can happen in the fall during actual tornado prone areas. Tornadoes are difficult to predict once they're formed, but they're essentially formed during the fall because it's a meeting of those hot and cold air currents coming together. Another thing to consider is as the summer rains leave, they might leave behind a lot of dry foliage. So wildfires can happen in the fall as well. It all depends on how buildings are managed or how the forests are managed, depending on where your role play takes place, whether you might be prone to wildfires or not. So these are the weather things to consider for the fall and weather events are always great things to offer, I feel, for role play events. They can be really dramatic and uh, really push people in, in certain directions with their characters. Okay, so quick announcement here at the end of the video, I am going to be without internet for the next two weeks, so there won't be any videos on the channel for a bit, but don't worry, I will be back on October 2nd. So remember to like if you like this video, comment down below with any questions that you have, subscribe for more videos, click the bell for notifications, all the links to my social media down in the doobly-doo. Thank you so much for watching and make it a great day.